What's up, my baddies? It's your girl, baby. It's from Instagram on your TV screen to let you know what it is, what it ain't, and what we finna do. So make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay updated with what I'm up to. Period. <laughs> Y'all, I am doing a mukbang. Yeah. Not the buying. The buying. Oh, 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 oh. Not the buying. No, for it, uh, I'm doing a mukbang, y'all. My first mukbang. It's supposed to be a Q&A, but people bougie on social media. Don't nobody want to get your girl, you know, some questions going. I may just ask myself my own questions, but we don't need these folks to make my videos. My video going to happen with me. I'm so ghetto. I got me some pizza hut today. I'm in the car, y'all. I got my ring light. I always keep my little mini ring light because you never know when a girl gonna pop off a video like how I'm doing right now. I don't eat pizza, but you're gonna see what I eat anyways. I got me some pizza hut wings. Your girl got them. Ooh, I got them out. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I ain't gonna spill the sauce everywhere. So I got me some meat. Not in your mouth. I got medium buffalo wings, boneless, and then I also got me some cinnamon sticks. Ooh, they ain't looking all that today, but I do like how they cut them. So these are my cinnamon sticks. So yeah, we gonna go ahead and get to it and eat. I'm like freaking hungry. It's seven and four currently, so it's like a late eat. I ain't really eat nothing today, so you know, baby, I live in hood a little bit, so we gotta watch them. If y'all see me. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I don't have nothing to talk about. I asked people to ask, ask me some questions, but they didn't ask me nothing, unfortunately. Aww. So, I'm finna make my own questions. The fact that I live in St. Louis, but the people who follow me, they don't like to support or do nothing. Mm. Did I hear record? I don't know. Let me check. Okay. All right, we record. But basically, I'm gonna make up my own questions to do my Q and A. I don't know until the support get up there. Then I guess I'm just not gonna really give y'all a real Q and A until then. That's what I'm saying, baby. They got the neighbors out. Everybody looking at me. Folk looking. Tent, tent barely dark. Oh, baby, he going off. You know they snapping on the phone, especially when they on speaker too. Baby, if that, if that phone ain't up to their ear and they head doing all that, oh, they ain't into it. He have to step outside and go off. I know that right. Let me stop looking. The ring light already flash. My first question for myself that I'm gonna answer for y'all is, what made me start want to start doing YouTube? So the people who didn't even know I was doing a Q and A, but you wanted to ask me this question, I'm gonna answer it for you. So basically what made me want to start doing YouTube was mm, I feel like I have a very bright personality and I feel like your girl needs to embrace it a little bit. A few people did tell me I should start a YouTube channel. Hold on. I mean, I was just in my own little world trying to go to school for respiratory. Baby, don't do that no more. Honey, that was a struggle. And I low-key love to travel, y'all. I love to travel. So if you don't know, you know. I love to travel, so I really want to start off doing like a travel channel and stuff like that. But the way my phone's set up, because I still work, it's kind of hard to really travel in the end, do that experience with y'all and blog and stuff like that. So I low key want to start off doing traveling at first, but you know I'm gonna start off doing me, and then we're gonna get big and do the traveling. But I low key want to start off doing um YouTube for travel and stuff like that, just to share my experience because like I said in my last vlog. So if you haven't already watched that, go watch this, sis. I gave a mini little lesson on there just because of the fact that I used to experience a lot of stuff when I was little as far as like traveling, doing fun stuff and doing, you know, just the exciting stuff in general. I'm a very fun person when it comes to traveling. I'm a fun person in general, especially when it's time to go out of town and do stuff, y'all. Like, I get active. share my life with y'all traveling doing fun stuff just showing off what 
to other people that is more out here to life and then to people who can't do it but when i watch through my videos and see what it's like to do this and see that i want to be the person for you to be able to experience it with me as well just based off if you don't have the funds or if you're not capable of you know going out of town do things like that but until then y'all i'm just chilling right now i'm just doing my own thing right now until i get to that point where i really want to do travel and stuff like this so yeah i'm just stuck in it just doing me on this be but yeah mm. what's another question i can ask myself for y'all though obviously mm -hmm. i see uh, I mean, I'm gonna ask some basics. I'm gonna answer some basic stuff for y'all. How old am I? I'm 21, in case anybody was wondering. You know, when some people subscribe, they probably be like, How old is she? But yes, it's I'm 21. Who you know doing the QA, making up their own questions? I'll wait. Where am I from? I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. STL 314. Country out the door. Jack a nigga stole and drop you on the flow. That type of city. So, I'm from St. Louis. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, laugh. That's just like petty questions, but my second question is for myself. My second big question is, what is my biggest fail in life? Because I feel like a lot of people don't talk about their fails. They only talk about they day goals and stuff like that they got in life but i'm a, that's gonna be my next question like what is my goals in life but my biggest feeling in life honestly would be me going to respiratory school i tried to go to school for respiratory therapy school y'all definitely felt about that junk after first semester just despite the fact that it was covid happening we had first went online school worked harder than a mug oh it was terrible but when i realized y'all i was sorry my feelings for days and like potentially almost a week or two because of the fact that like everything I've completed in life, I've succeeded at, and I've never really like hit bottom rock of nothing that hard to the point where I feel like, damn, like you suck. You know what I'm saying? Like, baby, I fail. I'm like, what? I don't fail nothing in life. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, what? No, this ain't. Hold on, two percent. You failed me. Baby, I could knock folks up out they boots for the pettiness that I got failed out that first semester. But anyways, y'all, so that's really like my biggest feeling in life is me going to school for respiratory school. Just like feeling the the hardness of life when it comes to the consequences after it and like trying to build a career off of it and build future plans based on that. That was hard and tough because it felt like my life was in a standstill point after I failed because everything after that that I planned for it to happen I couldn't get done unless I was to graduate and move on my life and make the money that I wanted to make from respiratory school. So that's just that. But that's like my biggest feeling right now in life. Or yeah, in right now in life. So I ain't mad about it. You live and you learn. But best believe they can't hold the sister down for long. Okay. Whole life on standstill right now, but I'm trying to find myself again, I'm trying to find what I want to do, find what I want to love to do. But as I'm doing that, that's why I'm doing my YouTube because it's like YouTube kind of help people figure out what they want to do based on what they really love to do. And the fact that you can record it and show other people how to do it or experience it with you, that's hard. Like, but I know for a fact I love to travel and that's just based on my mama. Like, I love to travel, so I know for a fact that came from her. And I know that's what I really want to do. I hate working. Like, I hate doing nine to fives. I hate people telling me what to do. So, when it comes to that point in my life where I'm done working, y'all, I'm going to thank God to the day I cry, die, everything. Because it's going to be so sentimental for me because it's like, it's so hard to work in a hospital. So, like, it's so hard to do my job, y'all, with trying to not stress because it's freaking health care you in a hospital boo like ain't nothing fun about working in a hospital like you get the benefits off of it, you get the pay depending on what you do but it ain't nothing fun about working in a hospital like it's good 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 jobs out there in the healthcare field but the stress the anxiety the emotion level that come with it the patients you meet that you don't get to meet no more who eventually pass off in life and all kind of stuff y'all i don't got time for it no more like i'm over it i'm over it I love the patients that I took care of, but I'm just over the lifestyle of working in general. It's over with. 
but as far as working for other people though not just working in general no my third question for myself is for y'all to know let me get a breast let me get a breast so let's see what is my goals in life and let me tell y'all i ain't gonna tell y'all what i be working on because i believe in evil eye and things like that and i've came across people who i've dealt with evil eye i think that's what it's called but basically evil if you didn't know basically evil eyes people who you surround yourself with who low-key pray on your downfall who low-key 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 wish bad on you and they just don't expect nothing good for you to happen in your life so it actually comes into existence in real life based on the people you surround your stuff with and bad things start happening to you i just don't prefer to have friends for one but so i'm gonna just say my goals i'm not gonna say what i'm working on they're right the ass car like come on now Hold on. No, no. You've been scrolling way too long. Yeah. If you know, you know. You know, for real. My goals right now in life is like for number one, to move the hell up out of St. Louis, y'all. Like, it's bad. When I say it's bad down here, baby, they on the road. Baby, we got two serial killers running around this motherfucker trying to kill females. And I, oh. Crazy. So, for one, I'm trying to get the hell up out of St. Louis. My second goal in life is just, most importantly, getting closer with God, of course. You know, I still have to work on that every day. So, well, that's really first, but, you know, that's first thing that came to mind. So, let me watch the back real quick. But, yeah, so my first one is really working on my relationship with God. Let me just put that first in because I'm still working on it. And then two, will be getting the hell up out of St. Louis because it's, wow, it's crazy down here. Remember, they killing folks. It's about 10 people down every day down here. It's probably more than that, but 10 people that's showing up on the news, but it's more than that. Um, My second, my third goal would be um, succeeding in life succeeding in life but kind of making like generational wealth at the same time i know they kind of come down like the same area like succeeding and generational wealth so like succeeding while creating generational wealth at the same time if generational wealth don't become a fourth you know goal i guess but i'm gonna just put that as three because it's basically all together just finances in general and just wealth so my third goal will be to be succeeded in life and to create generational wealth and I guess add like I'm gonna add on to three and just like create my own business and get things going for myself and become my own boss. That's really like my top three goals right now. It's like top tier three goals right now. So don't come up here trying to distract me, sis, because you will get booted up out my life. Period. Period. Hold on, yeah, I'm hungry. Mmm. So. Y'all yeah, may have to wrap this up soon anyways because this ring like tripping like it keep cutting off and I don't got no light once it's like cut off. So question number four would be, do I have any friends? No, I do not have any friends. Um, Yeah, all that. Question number five would be, do I have any siblings? Um, in case you guys were wondering, yes, I have siblings. Um, Unfortunately, basically majority of them don't live here except one. So yeah, let's just i ain't gonna say i'm the only child but let's just put it that way you know so i think i'm gonna just wrap it up with them questions right there like them five questions i think that's just gonna be a good start off for which i want to know for me to make up my own questions i think that's gonna be a good start if you watch this video whether you watch it when i first post this video whether you watch it two two years later or however the case may be baby i'm in the same situation as you starting off youtube work hard hustle don't don't baby don't put nothing past nobody around her i don't care who folks is who think they supporting you who you think may support you nobody definitely ain't gonna give it to you in no type of handout so don't look for nobody to do anything Just keep working hard keep doing you keep hustling because y'all like i ain't think me doing youtube gonna have some folks out here tripping i don't think so but now I see all of my niggas stay hyping me up. Pretty but talk to them spicy as fuck. Niggas be asking me why am I single? Told them the money be tying me up.